Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today I'm going to be giving you guys another Xenoverse 2 video talking about the release date and is this game coming out too soon? A lot of guys have been saying this. Has the game been coming out too soon? Is it being rushed? Do they have enough development time? The answer to that question is pretty simple for me and a lot of guys that have been following Dragon Ball games for all of these years. Maybe a lot of newer fans don't understand it and how the games are developed but they're usually done on like a yearly cycle and this they actually have a little bit more development time and I'm gonna delve a little bit into that in a second but ever since Xenoverse 1 was coming out uh, when it came out everyone was saying you know this game's kinda bad you know a lot of guys said you know just wait for the sequel this is the blueprint cause the first game is always the you know pretty much the worst one um, you know, look at Budokai 1 all the way to Budokai 3. Granted, I don't think Budokai 1 to Budokai 2 is that big of a jump. But Budokai 1 came out in 2002. Then the next year, you know, was remade on the GameCube. Uh, 2002, then 2003 was Budokai 2. Then 2004 was Budokai 3. Does everyone remember how giant of a jump Budokai 2 to 3 was, let's say? Or Tenkaichi 1 to 2, which was 2005 to 2006. Same developers, one year dev cycle. It's interesting with Dragon Ball games, and I think part of that is because it's interesting with Xenoverse is a little bit different. That I could see, you know, some uh, examples being made here. Granted, Xenoverse is getting more of a one and a half year plus dev cycle, even though they had working on some DLC and a little bit of updates. Uh, the interesting thing about other Dragon Ball games is that they were, you know, they didn't have to think of crafting a story really. They they had their story there. Uh, is the classic Dragon Ball story. Different when Xenoverse. Xenoverse had like a three-year dev cycle or something like that. Uh, you know, they talk about back when the game was coming out. You know, they had to craft a new story. And I'm, I'm pretty confident they probably had the blueprint for the story of Xenoverse 2 uh, prior to the release of the first game. That's just my gut feeling because of how fast this one is coming out. And you have to think they have to put time into the story, all the new character customization. You know, gameplay, we're going to see that E3 most likely. But you guys don't need to worry about this game coming out too fast because Dimps is a fantastic developer. They've worked on the Budokai series, of course, Burst Limit. Uh, Street Fighter 4 they even co-developed for. Just keep that in mind. Maybe, you know, they'll put in some Street Fighter 4 elements. But we have a 2016 winter release date window-ish thing from the latest V-Jump and, you know, Shonen Games kind of translated this. Uh, link down below. I'll give you guys the link to the whole article and Winter that could be you know November December you want me to be realistic I would say they're trying to avoid Call of Duty and all that stuff and you know Battlefield in October and uh, Everything else that comes out in November. I could see them releasing the game in November still completely different demographic They're not really competing necessarily, but December is also a big possibility I know that's like the latest that you guys want to see it but that would give them almost, that would give them like a 10 month. And if they were working on Xenoverse 2 beforehand even, you know, because we don't know when they started. We don't. Some developers work on sequels before the, the prior games are even out. So they have extra time to work on that. They're a very, very talented group of developers that have worked on different types of fighting games over the years. They know what they're doing, so I don't think anyone needs to be worried about this game at all. You know, they're spending, the, they're spending like the next, you know, year and a half probably crafting the story. They had time to do that. And then whatever else, add new content, create new worlds, characters. The blueprint was there. This next year and a half was just amplifying everything. And if you're worried about this game, you know, again, they made Budokai. Look at two to three. The next game's going to be even more incredible, I imagine. Those are just my thoughts on it. You guys have nothing to worry about. But if I had to tell you exactly when I thought this game would come out, I would say it's very possible that December is a likely candidate. Very early December. That's just my gut feeling. Not because they're trying to avoid Call of Duty, because I believe Ultimate Tenkaichi released in October. Uh, they're not really, I don't think, too afraid of that market. It's a completely different demographic. The Call of Duty, Gears of War, and uh, you know, Battlefield market. But still, December would probably be the best for me to expect them to come out but I'm not a game analyst I'm not uh, you know I'm not the most well-versed person in that uh, but those are just my thoughts guys let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section are you are you happy that it, it's coming out as soon as it is are you worried 
take note, this is longer than the majority of Dragon Ball games take to make, especially for a sequel. So take note of that. Uh, but other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.